that's Kurzweil. I'm going to show a little bit of Nord too, because I understand there's some interest in Nord. Are there people here that want to? I'm going to buy that tonight. Beautiful. <laughs> the Nord yeah. uh, concept is very different than Kurzweil. Kurzweil does a lot of um, a lot of sounds. They cover a huge bass, and they do it in a way that gives you a lot of real-time control, but not everything that you can possibly do is on the front panel. There's a menu and a display. Not a lot of depth that you have to know, at least on the forte, to get into the programming. Nor the, the whole idea, if there's a display at all, it's just to show you the name of the program. Oh, so that takes a lot more programming? Their whole concept is every control is on the front panel that you might want to use to adjust your sound. So rather than... I'm moving a slider and it says the slider effects one. This, I'm moving a knob and it's telling me right away, this is bass, this is mid, this one is attack, this one is decay, this one is release. So they're all labeled as to what they do and they only do that. It's more like a soundboard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and so visually speaking, yeah, yeah, visually speaking, you can look at the instrument and if you know what the if you know what attack means or yeah. what is it doing, mm -hmm. if you turn it, you can have an immediate reaction to the mm -hmm. instrument. Um, this instrument on top, the the Nord Stage, this is selling like crazy. This is and in fact, if you see bands on TV or you see you watch even any of the music country music awards, whatever it is, you're gonna see red keyboards. They're mm -hmm. everywhere. Nord has done a phenomenal job, and what their their philosophy was. We're not going to make it do everything. We're going to make it do dedicated things, and we're going to make sure that it does them really well. And it's going to be really easy to operate. So all of these promises of easy to operate. Look, look at this instrument. This 